is about as close as you can get to defending the centre, but of course you can still move around here and completely bypass the siege tank lines. To get that spread, you need to move the siege tanks up like this, but of course that then spreads them out very, very far. These marauders are going to walk straight into that though. That Hellion is now protected until such time as Siege Tech finishes for MVP, but that is a long, long time away yet. So as we see, he has a decent force here, he has a small force here, MMA's command centre here is finished, he needs to uh, get that to a base once it's safe. Everything kind of stalling at the moment, no one really able to move or take a position or attempt to manoeuvre to an advantage, everyone just trying to get some forces up. But a blue flame Hellion drop in here kills a lot of SCVs. Does get shut down eventually though, does lose the medevac and the Hellions. Now this I like, center tower play. One here and one up here for MMA. That's going to allow him to spot any drops. But MVP now moves in, crushing through these tanks with the Marauder Force. There are just too many Marauders here. MMA is just going to get absolutely crushed. He's not going to be able to defend that command center, has to pick up and go. Needs to get a force out to stop this, does not want to lose that command center. That is a huge investment in minerals, even at this stage of the game. Cannot afford to be losing it, but that's fine, he is done. These sensor towers, like I was saying, are going to help defend against drops from MVP, or the same kind of banshee harass we saw from him yesterday. Now this Terran vehicle weapons level 2 is now on the way. So level 1 is done, that's going to help him uh, absolutely decimate Marauders with the Siege Tank splash damage. Of course Hellion's not so good against tanks, uh, the vehicle weapons will help against that, they will do slightly more damage. But it is uh, not the most effective thing. Now this is a bigger Viking force for MMA than it is for MVP. Unfortunately for him there are just a few Marines out here. I don't know why he's trying to land this command center again. That seems like a big mistake. He's going to lose this, especially if that drops. He lets it drop. What are you doing, MMA? That is a huge mistake. I cannot believe he's done that. That is just throwing that away. He has expanded again down here, though. He's dropping mules here. Interesting to see whether he goes for an orbital or a planetary here when he has the minerals to do so. I can't believe what he was up to, just dropping that there. Making five command centers now. Look at this. Three here. Where's the other two? Four. Is there one up here as well? And five, which is now morphing to an orbital. Insane. Five command centers he just built. He is looking to take this map, but he can't do it. While MVP is sat in the sea tank line. Now this is brilliant. This is an offensive, offensive sensor tower. And I don't mean that it's saying rude things about your mother. What I mean is it's right in this forward position. Which means he's going to spot anything that MMA tries to get past him. This allows him to expand to this very, very nicely. That is a good location to expand to. Uh, he is going to float this products out for vision, trying to get a few shots off with the siege tanks. They are going to just about reach that one there. Yep, they just hit it. Unfortunately, this barracks is going to die very, very quickly. Hellions and siege tanks moving out now, trying to break through this contain. If he can do this, he may have enough. In fact, I think he has more than enough to finally break this contain. That's exactly what was needed. This force of Vikings, however, landing against the siege tanks here. Do manage to take it out, but only one Viking is left. It does go down. Just one siege tank left here. Mar MMA, sorry. I keep going to call him Marine King this morning. That is how tired I am. MMA had just enough to kind of break that. There are still a few siege tanks here, but he can now just inch his way into range, not having to worry about vision. And take it down. Here we see... That tank goes down. A few more Marauders coming in though. They are going to get a few extra shots off, which is nice. The more you can get, the better. But finally that container is broken. MVP is forced to go home. Now this location is going to be vulnerable. 
He doesn't have a force to stop anything. If these Blue Flame Hellions go up around the north, come down here, they can take these out. And there are a lot of mules here. MVP is not mining from many other bases now. This is nearly mined out. This is nearly mined out. His main is about halfway to two-thirds of the way mined out. MMA, meanwhile, has a planetary fortress here. He has no SCVs here, though. He has just been using mules here, which is very, very interesting. Obviously, doesn't want MVP to know it's there. Didn't want to see him mainitting drones out. Mainitting is uh, when you transfer your workers from one base to another. It was invented by uh, an old StarCraft and Brood War player called Maynard, obviously. Uh, he was the first person to see the economic advantage in doing so. Now, MMA has replaced MVP's sensor tower with one of his own. He's got a base back up here now, Planetary Fortress, and Orbital Command is floated over here. He still has these bases now, turning those into Orbital Commands. He's going to have a million billion mules. Terran Vehicle Weapons Level 3 is now on the way. Now this is good. I like this. This is something I saw Slayer's Boxer do months and months ago in just a ridiculous match. But essentially, because you're limited to that 200 supply, that 200 food supply, you are... Every SCV you make is one of those supply. That could be a Marine, or a few of those could be a Siege Tank. So instead, towards the late game, you build an absolute metric ton of orbital commands and replace all your SCVs with mules. That way, freeing up supply to have an even bigger army. Now, MVP is trying to take this base as well. I'm not sure how wise that is. With MMA having such a forward position right now. Look at this amount of siege tanks. This is a huge force. They do move into the range of a few siege tanks. Take a couple of shots. But this is all going to go down now. Oh, MVP trying to crush through it. But there is just far too much here. Everything is going to go down. So much going on at once. Vikings taking out the medevacs. Nothing to oppose them there. Which means this is going to go down if he's not careful. Now there are some siege tanks here, he does, does need to be careful, using the Vikings to spot them however. And again more going down, does MVP have enough? MVP has enough to stop this attack. That was wonderfully timed, needs to go home with these Hellions. Or at least uh, move back to a more defensible position, like the choke here and the choke here. Blue Flame Hellions now trying to come in from the south. Trying to do some damage. He is melting this into a planetary fortress. I think that makes sense. As much as orbital commands are nice, I think you need some kind of extra defense right now because M MA is pushing really, really hard. Shifting now even more command centers to here, um, morphing them into orbitals. He's intending to replace all of his STVs with mules. Look at this. You can mine so fast from here. He is about to move in again. I want to take a look at the income right now. Look at the difference in income. Nearly twice the income there. And more SCVs, more mules, more Hellions. Uh, way more siege. 14 siege tanks to 3 siege tanks. This game is over, I'm afraid. This base is going down. Everything is going down. MVP is not mining from here virtually. He's not mining from here virtually. Hardly anything left in here. He needs this base and he needs this base and this base is gone. There is nothing he can do against this, I'm afraid. MMA is going to take this into next week, which I like. MMA finally playing to his full potential. We will see how much longer MVP can hold out for. The command center is floating to here. He's still got this command center here when he remembers to drop mules at it. He is mining bases out so fast, though, with the amount of SCVs and mules he has. Finally, these Marauders will go down. This one Hellion is here, so he knows that base is there, so that's not going to stay up. But these siege tanks now are being crushed by the Marauders, but it's just not going to be enough. No matter what he does, MMA can just re-max this army so fast now. Over a thousand minerals in the bank. As we see, just making so, so much. Playing really safe, getting those orbital commands, rather than trying to just push through for a victory and just starving MVP out. These Marauders need to get closer, but they don't do it in time. Unfortunately, this Planetary Fortress does not have the same range as the tanks. And MVP GG's. MMA takes this game. That goes 
2-1 now in favour of MVP. And we will be back next Tuesday with a potential conclusion or perhaps MMA being able to take this to 2-2. What a game that was, by the way. I just want to have a quick word about that because that was absolutely fantastic. Really good move by MVP. Unfortunately for him, he tried to keep that contain up when he couldn't hold it and you really need to know in Terran vs Terran when to take that contain back because obviously as you saw it just got crushed through lost everything and just struggled to come back from that moment onwards struggled to hold these bases and just could not hold you know simply as that um, MMA playing really really well uh, obviously still not going for that Sky Terran style that we see but the siege tanks here worked really well against the Marauder and tank force so, um, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the week done. I am now going to encode, upload, and go to bed again. Because I don't have to go to work for another three hours yet. And so I could do with some sleep. So, again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out our partner uh, for this week. That's Hi I Can't PK. Uh, perhaps uh, I'll try and find us a new partner for next week. See what we can turn up. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all on Tuesday.